Hello, my name is Yonis Dijon. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply ex an exception in by using Visual Basics. I'm going to go to File, New, and select Project. I'm going to select Visual Basics, and I'm going to select Windows Form Up. I'm just going to leave this the default name. Click OK. Now, to create an exception, I'm just going to create, add a button into my project, and I'm just going to put a, some really bad code that usually would generate a fault, an error. So I'm just going to put here message box dot show, and I will try to multiply some text with a number. Now, this definitely will give me an error, so I'm just going to click Start. And I'm just going to click on it, and it will give me an error. Now, usually, if, if, it's a, a client, if the client, if our client uses our software application, the software will crash, uh, and this could actually cause the whole computer system to, to break down to, to break because the RAM memory will be uh, fulfilled with jargon, with information that is not necessary, uh, necessarily needed. So we don't want this to happen. We want to always look professional. So that's why we use exceptions. Now there's two different ways to use exceptions to avoid something like this of happening. Because this code, let's pretend that this code could actually work with the Windows XP or different operating systems, but with Windows 10 doesn't actually work. And we don't want people to actually receive this error message. So what we want to do is type here try and press enter. Now this, the, this is a, an exception, so the try exception. So what I need to do, I'm going to say try this code, I'm just going to put this code here. So try this message box, but if this message box, okay, result to an error, don't crash the software, just show a different message box. So I'm just going to copy that and paste. And then I will say this times 22. Okay. Now I'm going to run the software. It's going to try to multiply. I did not receive an error message. However, I saw the second message box. Now, the second message box could be an error message with a code that you would like to display. For example, uh, please contact uh, Alpha Design to report the error. And I will put two, eight, four, okay, I'll just make up a number. Then I'm going to press start. So imagine if you have thousands and thousands lines of code there, okay? So, and somebody actually clicks on it, and this line of code retrieves an arrow. The arrow will not be displayed there. So it's going to say, please contact Alpha Design to report error. So then the client will contact uh, the company, and they will report the error. Then me as a developer, I can actually go there, realize that where the problem is. And th then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete that from there and put this there. Okay. Obviously, the, the, the fix is not going to be as simple as this. Okay. Because the error could be anything. So if I press start now and click OK, so I will no longer see an error message. As you can see, so it try and it catch the correct information here. So this is one way to apply exceptions within Visual, Visual Studio and VB. Now, more particular. So another way to apply exceptions is you can go to the book, select Windows, select Exceptions Settings. And you can actually check or uncheck some things that you want to be 
uh, avoid uh, it will avoid the the software to generate a pop-up and error message or the software to crash so by actually ticking these boxes i will ensure that the end user will not the software will not crash if there is basically i apply exceptions by using the ide similar to the try here so by following this process and this video tutorial, you have now learned how to apply exceptions by using uh, the ID, the integrated development environment, in this case Visual Studio, or by actually adding the code uh, that actually act as an exception. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.